Alright, today's lesson on how to add and subtract real numbers. We're really just going to do adding, and you'll see subtracting will be pretty much the same thing. So, 7 plus negative 2. Well, one's positive, one of them's negative, so we're going to subtract them. 7 minus 2 is 5, and we're going to keep the sign of the bigger one. In this case, the positive sign. Negative 8 plus 4, same thing. One's negative. One's positive. I'm going to subtract them. 8 minus 4 is 4. I'm going to keep the sign of the negative because it's bigger. If they're both positive, we just simply add them. Nothing's changed on that. And if one's negative and the other's negative, we add them and we make them negative. That's about it. So what are the three cases we just saw? Well, let's list them. Case 1, both positive, just add them. Case 2, 1, negative, and 1, positive. Subtract. And keep the bigger sign. In case three, both negative. Add them. And make the final answer negative. So that's how to add them. Now, how do we subtract real numbers? Well, let's try the following. We basically do the exact same thing except first change the sign. So here, if the sign is negative, make it positive and put a negative here. Here the sign is negative, make it positive, put a negative here. Here the sign, sign is negative, so make it positive, and then switch the other one to positive also. Here it's negative, so we go positive, negative here. Now we're right back where we started. 7 plus negative 2. They're opposites. We subtract. Keep the bigger sign. Negative 8 plus negative 4. They're both the same sign. So we add them and keep the negative. Negative 1 plus negative 4. Add them. Keep the negative. And 8 plus 11. 19. Boy, those answers look very familiar. So that's how we subtract. Just turn it into addition. And of course, once you get pretty good at all these, you don't have to go through these rules. They just become second nature. Now, talk about properties. We're adding and subtracting real numbers. And as I just showed, subtraction is actually just addition. So we have the commutative property, which means that A plus B, where A and B can represent any real numbers, can always be written as B plus A. So you can just write them one way or the other. Associative property, we get A plus B plus C equals A plus B plus C, except we put parentheses around the A plus B over here and the B plus C over there. And these are properties. We don't have to prove them. Not that we'll do much proving on this uh, in this math, I suppose, in algebra. Uh, but in this case, we just take properties as givens. Identity property for addition is a plus zero. I'm going to make sure we know that's a zero is equal to a. And the inverse, also known by some people as the opposite property, is a plus its opposite or inverse negative a equals the identity zero. So those are the properties. 
memorize them, they're not that hard. They'll pop up again during multiplication. And so now we just practice. Negative 0 0.6 plus negative 6.7, negative 7.3. 10.1 plus negative 16.2, negative 6.1. Negative 8.7 plus 4.2, negative 4.5. And if I made any mistakes, I apologize. I'm doing this on the fly. Negative 13.1 plus 8.7 is a negative, And I believe it's going to be 4.4. .4. And now just some practice on the properties. This is the inverse. These are all properties of addition. We'll do multiplication soon enough. This is commutative. This is associative. And this is identity. That's it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Simply just need to practice it. Good luck.